Home prices in Pitt County, North Carolina in October 2023. Now that it's like spooky season, uh, we get to talk about like, we look at the numbers and we say, what does this mean for home buyers and home sellers? Basically, and then we're gonna break it down by what's actually happening in the numbers that just happened. So we can say, people say all this crazy stuff on the news like, hey, the market is crashing. Is it really? Um, because when I look at these numbers, I don't see anything like that. So let me show you what these numbers are. That way you're seeing in real time the same thing I'm seeing. So it's the beginning of October. So with that, we look backward on what just happened in the, in the last month. And I can see that we're, there are currently 305 active homes, which means listed homes for sale from shacks to mansions and everything in between a lot of new construction um, and then I say okay what has just happened now I see that there's 168 under contract pending homes and now when I add all that together that equals 473 why does that matter because when I look at the sold homes of 173 just sold homes in the last 30 days I can come up with an inventory rate of 2.73 months of supply so almost three months of supply but not quite three months of supply and a lot of this is again driven by new construction in our area. Do you want to add anything else? No, we wanted to start our introduction, no? Yeah, absolutely. So let's, let's hit, it. hit it. Hi, it's Alan Couture. Welcome to our Tailand Podcast. And if this is your first time in our podcast and YouTube channel, make sure you're subscribing and getting notified. Also, you can call and text all the time at 252-327-3357. We love talking to you. Do not be shy. Also, don't forget to grab our buyer's guide and seller's guide in the description below where we put lots of information on how you can buy a home or how to sell your home with us. Now, with and that, exactly, let's go back into these numbers and look at more detail. And then if you're looking at the months before September, which is months of August, we have this inventory rate 2.75 months, which comes really from the houses that was 292 homes we were active in the market 222 of them they went under the contract and 187 of them they was sold which gave them that 2.75 what have happened to last year because people always say compared to last year so what happened last year the last year actually inventory it was even lower inventory rate was 2.56 months and if you deep dive to the numbers we had 312 homes active in the market and out of that, 170 of them went under the contract and 188 of them they sold. Okay, so now a lot of it last year compared to this year, we have had a, our inventory rate has been driven up this year by new construction. We have a lot of incoming here in Pitt County in general for all and, over. And to be precise, it was 6.64%. Wow, he gave us a percentage. Okay, now let's look at the days on the market. Now this is again, how long a house is going to sit on the market. Now it depends on the house. Is it, exactly. is it something someone desires? Because that's going to sell fast. Is it something that has been on the market a while? Because that's not going to sell as fast. And we give you actually the average, this as my wife said, because we have a spectrum of the house prices from 100 or under 100 to over a million dollars home. Right, so the average days on the market is 61 days. Um, what about last month? The month last before that? Last month before was 43 days. And what about last year? Last year was 14. And the reason, again, part of it is a new construction because it takes six to nine months that from the third to fully completed to be in the market. Okay, so now let's talk about Pitt County itself and median list price. What does this mean? Median list price, what is median? Median is weighted average. Weighted average, right, that's important. Um, and then a list price is what the sellers put it on the MLS for to sell for. Now we're just looking at the median. So again, this is, in, uh, it's a little bit more weighted because we've the shacks don't get as much weight, the mansions don't get as much weight, they kind of measure itself out. Um, with that, 311,740. Exactly. And then how much they sold for is a little bit different. They sold for 273,490. Okay, well, if you look at last month before that, um, we saw the median list price was 306,120. And the median sale price? Was 277,100. Well, and then last year, if you say, well, what was it last year? Well, the median list price was a little more, 314,995. And, and the, the sold price was actually less. 264. To 150. So you can see the sales prices have gone up, which really does matter if you're already a homeowner. Now, if we were looking at how for much the sold price went up, how much do you want to tell 4. me? 4.33 percent. Wow, 
Wow, see, I told you he likes math. Now, when we look at the price per square foot for new construction, including condos, townhomes, and single family homes, that's $172. What would it be if I was a pre-owned home? If it's pre-owned home, all of these type of the home was $147 a square feet. Now let's look at just single family homes. The single family homes typically appreciate faster than townhomes and condos. So with that, it's going to be $174 for a square foot for brand new. And for the pre-owned one, actually was $152 per square feet. Now we told you that our inventory right now is being propped up a lot by new construction. So I just wanna kind of little look more into the details of this. Now, last month we had 2.9 months of supply in new construction. No, three. Uh, this uh, yeah it's September yeah 2.9 yeah. and then the previously owned was 0 0.9 which means it gives us a different number so you can see less people are listing their homes and the 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 buyers are going towards new what about a month before that in months of August we had 3.6 months of the uh, brand new homes in inventory but the pre-owned again was 0.9 months and totally we had 1.5 months of the inventory supply and if you're looking really we had 19.44 percent really less even a brand new homes in the market now let's talk about the mean home value mean is definitely weighted now mean says what are all homes all homes listed now this comes to in last month was 234 713 exactly and a month Not before obviously. in august was 232 454 and if you compare it to last year we see that was 221,456 so this is a year over year change of 6.6 percent therefore when you hear something that they tell you the housing market is crashing and you're looking at these numbers that from last year to this year to this moment that we are talking to you october 2023 we had just 6.6 percent .6 of the appreciation now let's talk about the median rent the median rent for all all apartments so if you're looking to rent the average meet the median rent is 1450 a month which at that price you can be buying a home like it's you don't have to be paying a rent when you have 1450 we can get you a small little house it's going to be much better for your needs exactly and this is just the median guys if you wanted to looking at the highest like a five yeah. six bedroom we had even 4500 we're just giving you a median uh, something that is weighted average in all the from one to six bedroom in the market. So we know that interest rates are, people are like, oh, interest rates are about to hit 8%. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't have a future with interest rates, but I do know that the home values are increasing. What does appreciate, what does, what does inflation mean? Inflation means prices are increasing. What's happening to homes is value is increasing. Um, it currently is increased by 6.6 .6 from year over year change. So you can see that homes have appreciated in value and this is not something that the market is looking to change anytime soon. Where if you are look, if you had bought something last year for that 1450 for rent, you would be in a much bigger house, but you can still get a house here. And that's the lovely part of our area where it's that kind of rent, you would not even be able to afford anything. So I love that about Pitt County. And of course, after that is still, you can refinance it after six months or whenever the basically interest rate went down. And we wanted to mention also definitely check new construction. As we said, we had just 0.9 months of the a pre-owned home in supply means there are not many pre-owned home in the market but if you're looking we had 2.9 percent of the basically new construction in the market i'm sorry for okay my phone. and then in the meantime while he's talking about that i'm going to mention what new construction you can also sometimes find deals of like a 4.99 percent interest rate which you cannot get on the open market because some builders do have some specials exactly so it's definitely time to talk to us if you are thinking of buying a home because if you can afford these new construction homes it's a good time to be talking about seriously considering getting into this game of buying a home and being secure for the rest of your life now if you're a home seller in Pitt county what do we it's, have to say it's definitely definitely important definitely make sure that you competitively pricing your homes meaning you definitely you need a really good real estate agent expert agent that can run numbers for you in uh and make sure you're pricing competitively in the market. No? Absolutely, and you wanna make sure that your home is staged correctly. Um, if your home is 
honestly dirty or if they see your laundry out, even in those photos, even if your home is beautiful otherwise, it's going to decrease the value of people perceive because people don't want to look at your stuff. They want to bring their stuff in. So I definitely want to mention that you should price matters, how that house look really matters. Um, and then also the market dynamics. This is still a seller's market. Despite the fact that interest rates are 8%, it is a seller's market out there. So stay informed. Be don't over believe that your home is worth a million dollars when it's only worth a half million dollars extreme but understand if you really do want to sell we have to price it competitively exactly. and we know that the housing inventory is just a 1.5 months of supply therefore still we are not near a four to six months of the supply in the market so we hope you love this video we love doing these videos and we're so excited that you're here with us and don't forget to subscribe in our channel and leave us a comment we love to hear your voice your comments and thank you for being good audience and next in the next see you in the podcast and video absolutely